A new report from NBC was deleted. Very interestingly, it had some new details for us on the Paul Pelosi saga. We had talked previously about this. He was allegedly attacked in his home by an individual named David DePapi, and uh, evidently he's doing okay. He was attacked with a hammer, had his skull fractured. A lot of questions about that. I certainly don't want anybody attacked in their home with a hammer. Don't want anybody hurt or injured anywhere, if I can avoid it. And we... Considered all of that, waited for the story to percolate and bubble up a little bit more. And now there's more questions about it, especially when NBC, when NBC reports new information and then suddenly deletes it. I want to show you this video, but before we do, here is the backstory on what actually happened, because it's, it's, it's not that interesting if they leave it up. It's more interesting if they delete it and then they sort of put up a different version. Let's take a look at what's going on here. NBC deletes a report on the Pelosi attack from its website. They say they did it because of reporting standards. Mm. Suddenly those matter and they need to exercise them to keep their content clean. NBC deleted the story about Paul Pelosi from the Today Show webpage because it fell below their ethical and standard thresholds. It was about David DePoppy breaking in. The video was deleted and the story was appended. Here's what the story said. Paul Pelosi was released from the hospital six days after the intruder attack. Paul Pelosi was released with a fractured skull. Editor's note, the piece should not have aired because it did not meet NBC News reporting standards. Oh, that's weird. The report featured several asides that appeared to call unnecessarily into question certain aspects of the incident. Some of it coming from ambiguous sources. A source with knowledge of the story told Mediaite that the segment was removed because the main source was unreliable, they said. They couldn't see how far away the attacker was from the door. All right, so that's what the source is. And they decided to change it. And it sounds like a perfectly good reason, doesn't it? Well, let's watch the video and we can see for ourselves. NBC News deleted this video. It has new details on the Paul Pelosi alleged attack. People are asking, what was problematic about this? Why did it have to come off the air? Good morning. When officers arrived here at the Pelosi home exactly a week ago today, they initially didn't have any idea exactly what was going on. They knew they had a high priority call on their okay. hand. What was unclear, what was happening inside the property just behind me. This morning, Paul Pelosi is home, back at the house that became a crime scene a week ago today. NBC News learning new details about the moments police arrived. New details. Sources familiar with what unfolded in the Pelosi residence okay. now revealing when officers responded to the high priority call, they were seemingly unaware they'd been called to the home of the Speaker of the House. Well, that's a little interesting. So you have Capitol Police who are evidently monitoring the property who apparently weren't actually monitoring the property. We'll get there in a minute. But the people at the police department in San Francisco also don't know they're going to the speaker's house and they don't know that it's an emergency. So when Paul Pelosi calls, evidently it's not kind of an emergency call, right? It's a wellness check. They know it's a high priority call. We've got all sorts of conflicting information here. This is weird. After a knock and announce, the front door was opened by Mr. Pelosi. Okay. The 82-year-old did not immediately declare an emergency or try to leave his home. Weird. In Why would you do that? We heard the story that this individual allegedly broke into the window and was standing over Paul Pelosi when he was laying there in bed and said, where's Nancy? Where's Nancy? I'm looking for podiums. I'm insurrecting you now, son. And there was no rhyme or reason to any of it. And so Paul Pelosi calls, it's sort of a wellness check, something strange happened, the cops show up, he goes to the door, opens the door, and apparently walks back inside? Let's rewind that a minute. House. After a knock and announce, the front door was opened by Mr. Pelosi. Okay. The 82-year-old did not immediately declare an emergency or try to leave his home. Wouldn't you do that? If the police are there and there's a home invader with a hammer, evidently, you open the door, you go out to the police. Holy moly, thank you, officers. I cannot believe you're here. Thank you for saving me. He says, no, uh, 
everything's good. Come on in. But instead began walking several feet back into the foyer toward the assailant what? and away from police. It's unclear if the 82-year-old was already injured or what his mental state was, say sources. That's a cope. That's them trying to say, well, yeah, it's weird. It's definitely weird, but maybe he was attacked or maybe he was out of sorts. He was just a little bit delusional. Or maybe he was uh, drunk. Was he drunk? <laughs> was he drunk? Was he inebriated on something? Sleeping pills? Was he something Something going on here? Opens the door. Come on in. We're just getting started. According to court documents, when the officer asked what was going on, defendant smiled and said, everything's good. When the officer asked what was going on, defendant smiled, everything's good. That's from David DePoppy. Everything's good. But instantaneously, a struggle ensued as police clearly saw David DePap strike Paul Pelosi in the head with a hammer. After tackling the suspect, officers rushed to Mr. Pelosi, who was lying in a pool of blood. You saw that we read through the entire special agent report, but they say here the officer asked again, what is going on here? You know, what the heck is going on here? What is going on here? Depends how you conjugate that. What is going on here? Because he's got a hammer in his head. You know, the hammers are all sort of, they're intertwined in this hammer grip. Or it could be, what is going on here? Oh my gosh, what is going on here? What's going on here? It could be, you know, a whole, there's a spectrum of what it could possibly be. We don't really know. But uh, evidently, Pelosi opened the door and he invited him on in. Rushed to Mr. Pelosi, who was lying in a pool of blood. What we do know is he brutally attacked Mr. Pelosi and attempted to kill him. After we don't know anything, okay? We really don't know what they were doing there, why they were standing where they were standing, or why he let them in, or how he got in the house, or any, uh, a lot of questions about all that. But what we do know is he was attacked. You see how they just keep jumping to that? They don't want to talk about any of that other stuff. They just want to talk about the attack. That's it, the hammer attack by a MAGA insurrectionist who wasn't any of those things. Who was lying in a pool of blood. What we do know is he brutally attacked Mr. Pelosi and attempted to kill him. After spending several days in the ICU, Pelosi, who is recovering from a fractured Good. skull and serious Good. injuries Good. to his Good. arm and hand, is now home where Capitol Police remain on alert. Investigators have previously said Pelosi did not know DePap when the 42-year-old broke into his home. Why Pelosi didn't try to flee or tell responding officers he was in distress is unclear. Nobody fear knows. takes over. Fear freezes people. This morning, the he had like 30 minutes. He was walking around. The cops were there and he could have just walked right outside if he was so panicked. The 82 year old lucky to be alive after an intruder nearly killed him in his own home. Law enforcement, tell, law enforcement officials tell us the bottom line here is this was a terrifying situation. We still don't know exactly what unfolded between Mr. Pelosi and the suspect for the 30 minutes they were alone inside that house before minutes. police arrived. Officials who were investigating this matter would not go into further details of about course. these new details. Craig, back to you. Oh, yeah, one thing's for sure, though. He is lucky to be alive. Miguel Amalgare for us. Miguel, thank you. Yeah, he's very lucky to be alive. I'm glad he's alive. I'm glad he's doing well. Don't want injury uh, to become to befall him, of course. But it is very curious. Cops, what's going on here? And he walks right back inside. Very strange. So NBC deleted that story. Apparently that story fell below their ethical standards or their, their standards in general. And it seemed like it was pretty well put together. It seems like somebody put a lot of effort into that story and they weren't just sort of uh, throwing something at the wall to see what sticks. They presumably talked to somebody who seems like they maybe knew something about what actually happened. Now, the Capitol Police apparently aren't even watching. The Paul Pelosi attack has inspired the Capitol Police, hopefully to do their jobs. The Washington Post is reporting that they weren't even watching the security cameras when the raid, invasion, alleged assault, insurrection 3.0, whatever took place.
Washington Post reports that inside the command center at the U.S. Capitol Police, a handful of officers were going through their routines early on Friday morning. They were cycling through live feeds of the department's 1,800 cameras. You know, because there's so many of them, they're very busy. At the nearby Capitol complex, on screen showed a darkened street nearly 3,000 miles away outside the house of Nancy Pelosi. An officer in D.C. quickly pulled up additional camera angles from around Pelosi's home and began to backtrack, watching recordings from the minutes before San Francisco police arrived. There on camera was a man with a hammer breaking a glass panel and entering the speaker's home. People familiar with this learned of the break-in and they were briefed and viewed the video themselves. But the 911 call came in first. They struggled inside the home, attempted kidnapping, alleged kidnapping, took place. But if the Capitol Police were going to stop an attack at the home of any member of Congress, they had perhaps the best chance to do it at Pelosi's. According to several current and former law enforcement officials, many of whom spoke on condition of anonymity, the Capitol Police installed cameras around Pelosi's home more than eight years ago. She has an around-the-clock security detail, okay? For many months after the attack, San Francisco police cruisers sat outside of her home day and night after January 6. But hours after Pelosi left San Francisco, much of the security left with her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just uh, left. Officers in Washington stopped continuously monitoring the video feeds outside her house. Targeted security and lack of full-time active surveillance, even at the home of member of Congress, the Speaker of the House, okay, the Speaker of the House. It's not just like some new member of Congress, okay? It's not AOC we're talking about here. It is the Speaker of the House. Their family, security officials, they've tried to you know, get this implemented. Capitol Police have been working to implement more than 100 security improvements outside of different houses. In a statement on Tuesday, that it's going to, they need more money. They need more security. I mean, it's like, it's like amazing. Okay. So, you know, it's weird. It's weird. Like the cameras aren't on when you need them the most, you know, Epstein, something happened with him. You know, uh, cameras were off. Very strange. All of those tens of thousands of hours of footage that we want from January 6th, all those, all it's gone. Where's all that gone? Oh yeah. All the footage from all of these San Francisco police officers, all of these, uh, uh, security videos that could easily put all of this to bed. All of it is gone. Very strange. Yeah. Well, why do we even have cameras for it? What's the point? Don't even need them because there's never any footage. Ridiculous. All right. So we now know that they need more money. That's probably the problem. Capitol Police couldn't protect the Capitol or Nancy Pelosi's house because mm, they don't have enough money. Probably need a few billion dollars more from the American people. Shouldn't be a problem. We've got plenty. Capitol Police Chief pushes for, quote, more resources after Paul Pelosi's assault. He says, oh, we believe that today's political climate calls for more resources. Yeah. To provide additional layers of physical security for members of Congress. This guy's name is Capitol Police Chief Tom Manger. He said it in a statement. He says that, this plan would include an emphasis on adding additional redundancies to the measures that are already in place for the congressional leadership. He declined to disclose further details about the improvements. He said this could it, it, it expose ourselves to risks from bad actors. All this, of course, emanates from the David DePoppy attack. He said, we're developing options from which a request will be made. We're exploring every option, it says Chuck Schumer. And they're going to try to cram through a big fat bill that we're all going to have to pay for. Probably going to create a bunch of additional capital agencies, capital police agencies or uh, departments all across America. Total joke. Now, this also was a very interesting tweet from John Cardillo. He's on Twitter and he says with his red circles that they are lying about everything. He says this is the camera that you can see on Paul Pelosi's mansion. You see it right there circled in red. You see this one here circled in red. Let me move myself out, right? And those aren't obviously directly in front of the breaking and entering place, but lots of cameras. I guess most of that only matters if they're being monitored. Otherwise, what good are cameras that don't have anybody actually looking at them? Not that great. Uh, but that, my friends, is it for the Paul Pelosi story. Evidently, he walked away uh, from the police. Uh, he's being invaded, attacked by a home intruder. Police are there. Come on in. Let's go sit down and have some coffee.